afuera Me voy tendido, me voy empinando mi bote Un poco mayor por la bebida y el borlote Me tiene hasta la riata la gente con su mitote Pero me despreocupo, me pela I've been trying to prioritize my mental health lately. So last weekend, I was able to find an opportunity to go to San Francisco by myself, walk around a little bit with my camera. And surprisingly, I found it to be very therapeutic. I had a lot of time to reflect on what it is to be a 40 year old full time wedding photographer with two kids and trying to normalize adult men sharing feelings. Here are a few things that I've learned. Number one, it's never too late. I started shooting weddings when I was 30 years old, and there were a lot of younger people who had started their careers before me. So I've always wondered, was I too late to the game? Although I had developed a strong network of referrals and built a great portfolio, I always thought, what if I had started earlier? Or am I even good enough compared to my younger, better looking colleagues? And therein lies the phrase that was a culprit for those feelings. Compared to. We've all heard phrases like comparison is a thief of joy or imposter syndrome. And in the world of creators and social media, it's very easy to accidentally compare myself to others. I follow a lot of great photographers and they're a great source of inspiration. But there was always little voices in my mind that said things like, oh, I wish I was her. Or it must be nice to travel for work when you don't have kids. It took me way too long to realize that this was toxic for me. Even when other people's posts made me feel good, it was for the wrong reasons, like seeing that I had more likes than someone else. So I started to unfollow some people who didn't spark joy in me. And as a result, it started to open me up to the idea that it's never too late for almost anything. So randomly, I decided to make my first serious YouTube video about something fairly personal. I posted it and I got really meaningful responses. I had no idea my story resonated with so many people. It made me think, hmm, maybe there is an audience who is willing to listen to me. So here I am leaning into my niche as an experienced photographer, a newish father who occasionally talks about his mental health. Number two, age isn't just a number. In contrast to what we just talked about, sometimes it can be too late. I understand that there are serious uh, health implications uh, with age. That's something I've been working on diet-wise, uh, mental health, and uh, just physical activity. You know, for the sake of my kids, being able to have the energy to, to play with them and, you know, be with them at my very best. But also to continue um, doing photography, you know, my passion to the fullest extent. It doesn't really help if uh, you know, I'm sick or uh, physically unable to. So, you know, I'm grateful for that and I'm grateful for being able to realize that now and, you know, just really focus on, on my health. Number three, solo street photography has made me more empathetic. Everyone has their own stories filled with successes, failures, or ongoing struggles. It was easy for me to forget this until I walked around San Francisco alone with my camera. It allowed me to go on my own pace and experience my surroundings. As I absorb my environment, I can see myself in other people's shoes. They say traveling alone helps you discover yourself as it takes you out of your comfort zone and gives you time to reflect. And I think my little solo photo walk for today was a taste of that. As photographers, we're not just there to take snapshots of our surroundings. I think it's important for us to read the scene, understand the context of it, so that we can make the right creative choices in capturing the moment. And being alone was very liberating. I didn't feel encumbered by worrying about what another photographer or person thinks or how he or she might compose or expose an image. And number four, I gained clarity on what I was grateful for. Going on a solo photo walk was like a two-in-one therapeutic session. Walking as a form of exercise released endorphins and helped me feel more at ease and happier. And while in between taking photos, I had the solitude to let my mind reflect on my life. And I realized that I wasn't anxious about the future or stressed about the past. I was just generally grateful for where I am right now.
So this is your sign to take your camera, go out by yourself, maybe plan a trip for a little bit and see what comes out of it. You know, you might gain some new insights. Thanks for listening, guys. See ya.